Do you have a Hemi engine and knocking at idle getting on your nerves? That's what's known as a Hemi tick, a very common issue with this type of engine. Today I'm going to show you the cause of this problem and how we successfully developed valve lifters that completely eliminate it. I know that Hemi engines are really great units. They have a lot of power and a great sound, but their design is incredibly outdated. It utilizes a single camshaft for the operation and control of the intake and exhaust valves. Modern engines generally make use of two separate camshafts, with one specifically controlling the intake valves and the other specifically handling the exhaust valves independently. This provides us with much greater flexibility in setting operating parameters. Hemi engines employ hydraulic lifters to effectively control the clearance of the valves. Very often, when we start up a cold engine or one that's been sitting idle for a long time, we hear a slight knocking for a few seconds before everything fills up with oil and warms up properly. That indicates that the valve lifters are experiencing an airlock. Over time, if we encounter a significant number of instances of airlock lifters, the roller situated right here, as you can clearly observe, develops its own play. When this play becomes significant enough that the roller ceases to function properly, it results in increased friction between the roller and the camshaft. Then the knocking and tapping noises can be heard practically all the time, not just during startup, when the roller becomes severely damaged and starts to look like this. It eventually results in significant and severe damage to the camshaft. Here's a great example. The valves just don't want to open, and the engine often runs quite unevenly when idling. Fuel consumption is really high, not to mention the knocking sounds. There are loads of various replacements for these lifters available on the market. Unfortunately, the majority of them originate from faraway places, and I'm sure you know what I mean. And that implies their build quality is quite poor. Most professionals advise replacing lifters with the original ones, yet they all come with the same inherent design flaw. At Mehankers, we've developed something new, valve lifters specifically designed without rollers. That's because we firmly believe that the rollers actually represent the weakest structural point of the original lifter design. We drew inspiration from Rolls-Royce engines, especially the famous 6.75 V8, which is renowned for its exceptionally smooth and refined performance. You could say you can't hear them at all when they're idling. Taking out the roller from the lifter isn't everything. We made the decision to make use of the oil that's typically used to power and operate the MDS system efficiently. We made the decision to completely do away with this system and instead utilize its channels to effectively power the lifter mechanism. In this section, you can observe two different holes. One of these holes is specifically designed to supply oil to the pusher system itself, which means it will bleed out much faster and more efficiently compared to its original counterpart. The other hole is responsible for directing oil to this front area, specifically to the contact surface between the camshaft and the lifter. By using this method, we effectively avoid any problems related to excessive friction. Initially, the valve lifter receives its power from above through the push rod. Unfortunately, this leads to significant oil pressure losses along the way, and that implies we'll soon be encountering a noteworthy and significant problem with a lifter that has become air entrained. This recording wasn't made without a specific reason. We're currently in the process of seeking out a candidate to conduct thorough testing on our lifters. We will cut the costs of timing belt replacement and record the entire process for you. This way we'll prove that our lifters are the best in the world and you can benefit from a V8 engine that will finally run quietly and smoothly. 